What a troll. All right, we should be live. Should be popping up on Twitch here in just a second. It's the same as last time. Twitch.tv slash UNCC Esports. Can we not spectate? Alright, I'll let Ari and, and Ronald and them figure that out. Delaney, are you on the stream? Is it live? Hmm. Okay. Stop streaming for a moment. Yes, switch. I understand. This is my stream. Faster. Okay. Start streaming. Oh, don't tell them we're streaming. Because then they're going to come ghost the stream. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a three minute delay, but same difference. Well, and I don't know if we're supposed to stream this or not. Subs aren't allowed to spectate? Interesting. That seems like a strange. Yeah, that's a, that seems like a strange rule. One of the people on their team. I don't know. No, they just checked the roster and were commenting that we aren't on the roster. Hello. Why are you not going live, Twitch? Oh. It, 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 it did that as soon as I asked the question. Okay. Works for me. <laughs> That's oh my god, harsh.
Same. Next. Current game. Read text from file. Guys are doing of the memes. All right, let me get some music playing while we're waiting. Benefit. All right, so have we done any research on these guys? Probably not, right? I'm sure the other guys have. Let's see, plat, 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 gold on their team. Oh, no, that's our team. That's our team. What? Our team's all plats right now. Never mind. JK. They have two diamonds and a gold loaded in. Is it not streaming right now? No, no, I know. They're not in champ select yet. I'm on the idle screen. I'm using OBS. I'm adding some stuff into it right now. Uh...
Oh, snap. We end. Yep. Okay, so I was just told I have to add an additional five minute delay. So uh, give me a moment to do that. Oh, in game? Okay. Just to figure I can also do that through Twitch. All right, so to update everybody, oh, let me turn the Discord off because we're now in chat select. All right, so bans from UNCC are Shen, Malzahar, and Yasuo. Bans from Tennessee are Rise and J so far, and Oriana. What do you think a top laner might be thinking, Nathan? Oh. They locked in the Lee Sin and someone else picking. Bing. Gotta get them. DC chains going. Indeed. Would appear that Victor's got some nice burst potential, so if they get some ganks going with Rengar and Victor, it could be hopefully a strong mid lane york's gameplay i'm not too familiar with the new york but is he just still push the tower down push the tower down push the tower down all right
All right, stream, we already have to add a five minute delay in. So as soon as champ select's finished, I'm going to go ahead and implement that and then you'll see us again in five minutes. All right, so they locked in the ash. I'm going to apply our stream delay. But in the meantime, we'll be loading into the game. Delaney, let me know if the stream stops. It should. Not not stop, but like pauses as the as the delay kicks in. I may have to stop it in order to get the delay to happen. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I, I implemented it in um, in OBS so that we can watch the game three minutes behind, and then it hit, goes out to Twitch five minutes behind. But it would appear to have not paused yet. Yeah, so, all right. Stream, we going down for a bit, and we'll be back in five minutes from now. All right. Okay. Stop stream, restarted the stream. We should see it go offline and come back offline. No, Ronald, okay, here Ronald said that we have to put it on more of a delay. Okay, what am I doing wrong? No, no. Why? Then we ha all have to sync the delay. No, but you would you would have to sync yours too. Either way works. Either way implements an extra five minute delay. I just did it through Twitch. Same. How so? No, you can spectate live uh, as soon as they've loaded in. Like if you hit spectate, you'll hit wait, you'll be waiting for spectator delay. Alrighty, and we're loading in. All right, Delaney, you spectating now too? OK. 
two.
Yeah, I'm fixing that. Hold on. <laughs> there goes the commentary, boys. Alright, the sound should be coming back. Come on, stream chat, you should be telling me if there are issues. You blame me like normal Twitch chat would. So overall, UNC is starting to wait their lead. They have sound. They can hear your beautiful voices now. Sweet, so as we're capping back in, we have UNCC just pushing their objective with massive CS leads all around the map, especially top lane, jungle, and ADC. They're just going to push their advantage, take out these objectives, and really just start to crush them into oblivion. As you can see here, Tennessee is just trying to recruit back up in any of the lanes, try to CS, catch up, back up, and then when the next dragon's up, they can probably go for an objective, but unfortunately none of the towers are open for them. The Fizz is just trying to even oh, get anywhere. Oh, we see the all-in from Annie as she just flashes ults on him without the ignite. They're probably not going to be able to collapse on the Annie with Alistar there. Alistar is there to back her up, but the Yorick wall coming in clutch. Yeah. Taking her out, completely denying her since she had no flash. We did Ash ult the Jin there. So it looks like her ult would just went off cooldown. Yeah, her ult's on cooldown, so she must have ult something. She still gets the first shot off, which is interesting. Honestly, UNC is just rolling over Tennessee right now. Mm -hmm. up the Rift I'm just gonna be looking to start them out, take all the objectives, deny them CS. We just push them in and hopefully clean up the rest of the dragons, get Baron and push to the end. Yeah. The only threats on Tennessee's side are Lisa and Annie, which Annie can still make a big impact in a team fight. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to see some big team fights here coming in. Some big wombos. Clean them up. The Tennessee bot lane is just not looking strong right now. One in seven. Working together against this five and two other bot lane. I mean, to see. Just not looking like a strong game for Tennessee, unfortunately. Yeah. As they try to make a play, but Lee Sin's there as York's just gonna continuously push the tower. Almost hitting that Flame Horizon 100 CS up. Yeah. Looks like they're gonna just try to split between mid and top. Try to just split the pressure on the map. So mid towers and just go down. And looking towards the bot lane tower now. Yeah, just out rotating them. Taking off the objectives. They can easily shove them in with, with no punishment here, and they pop up in the ante if they just continuously see her. There's nothing they yeah. can do. It's just, they're all yeah. gripping up top, but they're not going to do anything about Springer, Yurik with that. The Tennessee team just seems to be a little disjointed. Sitting mid lane as their team just is dying out. Not sure what to do at this point. Understanding that they're behind, but not understanding how to really get back in this game. Yeah. Take the oh. bot in him tower. Lisa and Mike go for the insect. The gin oh, there's, there's a nice ash ult. There's a gin. They got the, the gin. Nice. They got the gin. Victor. Can't do much while well, we're exhausted. You got Fizz coming up in the back lane. It's like and he's scary. cleaning them up. Use your moment, Fizz. This Make is where they just push top and get the other tower. Oh yeah. Despite the few deaths, they're just opening the base even more. Just choking them out. You're just gonna get out of there, I think. 
Might actually be able to pick up a kill there too. So you get the Rangar with the trade from the Fizz. And As the Yorick end. is just making plays top lane, really showing that he is just a top lane fiend right now. Pushing in, taking towers, destroying this Fizz, walking all over their team. It's really going to be a difficult time coming back when they have yeah. no towers, no dragons, and uh, no control of the map as you see right now. There's really no wards even in their own jungle. The UNCC is just going to be able to walk in there and control the entire scene. Yeah, despite the ace they got on the UNC team, their base is just so open right now, it doesn't really matter. Mm. They'll probably not even be able to contest the dragon if UNC goes for it, let alone maybe a baron if they call it out. We can see here if we look at the builds, Ash actually just finishing her first item while Jin is working on his third item. He's got that QSS for the Fizz and Lily Sim. Hopefully the Halos Star doesn't stun him here. Um, they still have a chance to win this, like we said, the Wombo combo coming from Annie, Lee Sin, Fizz could definitely turn the tides of this game, but we'll need to play pretty immaculately to come back as UNCC is taking this air drake and probably going to be working their way over to Baron. Yeah. To try to push this and get a quick 20 minute Baron then end the game as, as soon as they can to not leave any room for mistakes. All the Tennessee recon. Looks like they're just gonna split up instead of going for a Baron. Yeah, they're gonna pull the same 302. Uh, flip side now, trying to get the objectives still splitting, still splitting up just to make the Tennessee team diverge from each other. They're gonna clearing out the words that they previously just put. Deny all their vision constantly. Missed the Baron on that, or the ward on Baron though, so Tennessee knows what they're up to. And they're going for the Baron, and Tennessee isn't really responding. Lucin looks like he's just gonna go for the steal at best unless they can fight that. I'm just gonna push the Baron. Hopefully Leeson can hop in here. He's got the Q down. They've got a ward down. They've finally taken it out. Leeson hops in. Nice smite. Does not get the Baron as they pick it up and clean him up as York is still just taking out their base with his ult. York is just putting in so much work this game. As we see the team that UNCC is just able to Pop on Tennessee without any repercussions, diving them under tower, no follow up from the Tennessee team, just scrambled everywhere. Really is a clean sweep from just yeah. coming in and taking them out with their damage. Looks like the end of the game here, to be able to just pick it up. Just almost 20k gold ahead as we look at the scoreline here and UNCC taking them all out. Yeah. Pretty despite, clean win. Despite the few rows by Andy, Tennessee didn't really make a lot of plays that game with their uh, engage. Yeah, unfortunately the CS game, early game, just really piled them ahead even though the Andy Made some nice plays. Uh, Rome definitely way more than the victor and tried to carry her team. Just didn't do much for them. And the CS York and the 
bottom lane just steamrolled their team and UNCC took the win. Yeah. Alrighty, congrats to UNCC for winning that one. I'm gonna put a little bit of music on it while we get back toward the next game. Kevin. What's up? Do you have us muted, uh, muted on the stream right now? No. I don't have a way yet to separate that out, our conversations from there. I can mute myself, but I can't mute you guys. Okay. I actually just installed OBS earlier. I don't have full setup going. Easiest way to do it would be to put you guys on a separate output for myself and then be able to control it that way, but I don't have that just yet. Why doesn't OBS Studio have the ability to scroll yet? That's no fun.
to Nathan. There's the next game. Alright stream, I'm going to be playing with the delay stuff again, so don't be alarmed when it goes off for a couple minutes. Be right back. All right, we are live again and now delayed properly by 300 seconds or five minutes to add the additional delay. And we'll be getting into champ select shortly.
Now we finally got right. an enchant select. Yeah, we are getting underway. I wonder if they're gonna start banning out stuff like the York or the Jin, maybe. We shall see. I don't think the Jin was as important to get rid of as it was the last game, but the York was pretty. Yeah, that, that, that York made a big influence last game. So far we have a Rise ban and a Jace ban coming out from UNCC, and a Yasuo and Malzahar, or sorry, coming out from Tennessee Tech, and a Yasuo and Malzahar ban coming out from UNCC. Those are two of the same bans from last time, so I'm assuming they're targeted at the players. And lastly, the Oriana. And an Alawi ban coming out from UNCC this game. So the York is still up. Looks like. They're going to steal the York away from UNCC. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I have to see if uh, Tennessee Tech is as good at playing York as the UNCC player. Mm -hmm. But UNCC is now locked in a Rengar and a Wukong. How does the Wukong uh, Yorick matchup go typically no idea this is uncharted territory for me because not all the people play york or wukong wukong will be great for team fights though if they get a comp going around that rengar as usual just be kind of picking people off from the sidelines yeah and they pick up the Varus. That could be a mid laner, but it might also be the ADC. It's very questionable. UNC might opt in for the victor once again. Tennessee Tech. Jin... Go for it. And Jin is still open for a UNC again if. Virtuoso wants to go for his main man. Yeah, and I like the uh, Lee Sin coming out of Tennessee Tech because you've got two junglers that are great at making picks. And Lee Sin debatably can have more of a team fight impact if you can get in there and insect someone. Ooh, going in for the Ash instead of Jin this game. He likes his low mobility. 80 carries. Most 80 carries, carries are immobile. And there's the, uh, Annie probably gonna be picked up again against the victor. And he was one of the main, uh, stars last game that kept Tennessee alive somewhat. Yeah, that Annie was doing really well. Flash tippers. Honestly, though, that's why I like Ezreal, because you have escapes for days. Oh, and the Alistar pickup. So they like that Alistar. They're going to hang on to it again this game. Mm hmm. See what support UNCC is going to pick up. Zerath. Uh, nope. Probably going to go back to Leon again. Fence is killing me. And they lock in the Leona. Basically the same teams except for both bot and top laners have changed their picks. So I feel like the Wukong might have the advantage since he used he is a York man, he would know what'd be good against the York in the matchup. So I feel like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, we'll have to see if it's a repeat of last game or if Tennessee Tech managed to turn things around. Are these best of two series or are they best of three?
series. It is it's a best of two. How do you have a best of two? Well, it's like it's like what EU does, where you play two games and they do some points thing. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's interesting. Yeah, I believe it's a best of three. And now we wait for the delay. The riot makes us sit through savages. And while we wait out that delay, why don't we bring some tunes back? We go, the game's getting underway. How are you guys feeling about this one? You think UNCC can pull it off again, or do you think Tennessee Tech's going to make a comeback? I think it might be just another repeat of last game. Unless Tennessee Tech can fix the issues they had. Yeah, if Tennessee Tech can... Uh, their mid lane was strong, their jungle seemed to be putting in work. Uh, they just need to fix their issues with, especially the top lane game, just absolutely shoved out in the bottom lane, getting outplayed a couple times. Hopefully this Wukong will make up what the uh, Yorick did and just continue to steamroll the top lane, especially against their Yorick now, but... Uh, again, they're running with the Alistar in the bot lane against the Leona. Another support matchup that could go either way for either team. But again, we have the Annie versus Victor in the mid lane, as we saw before. The Annie won that pretty easily because she was roaming, taking out, making plays everywhere, and the Victor was just not putting in enough work. Hopefully this game he understands that he needs to start moving around, making plays for the rest of his team and not just leave them in the wind. 
I wonder if we'll see a lot of Lee Sin going top again. Because despite the uh, amount of ganks last game, it didn't really have much effect on how the lane went overall. Yeah, I, I agree. The Yorick was just too strong even after the like three ganks he got. But with the switch on the York being brought over to Tennessee, it might be a little different. I would assume that the Wukong knows the matchup a lot better since he mains York. seconds until minions spawn. see a very standard start here from everybody but like we said earlier this i think this matchup is really going to again depend on on that mid lane if victor can make up and just start roaming and keeping up with the annie again this game it should be another clean wipe hopefully the annie understands that she needs to take her advantage in lane if she gets it and start putting it elsewhere and hopefully their top lane yorick uh doesn't falter like the fizz that they had last game they can make up that distance. I definitely think there is there is a chance for Tennessee to come back in this game if they play it correctly and don't make the same mistakes they made last time of falling behind both in CS and in pressure around the map. Yeah. As we see here, the Lee Sin is starting top side, which is a bit different, allowing their bot lane to get advantages. We see trades happen in mid lane. I believe last game the Ringer went red buff first, so we'll probably see different jungle paths. Ringer might gank early to top lane. Maybe just gank bot lane instead since so he's going for Gromp and possibly Wolves into both bump both buffs immediately. Let's see if he can make an early play again, put his teammates ahead like the Lee Sin did last time. I felt like Last game, especially when you have Lee Sin and uh, Rengar, neither of them were super aggressive before 10 minutes. They made the plays when they had to, but nothing too special where they were trying to force out their laners to win. As we see some trades here mid and Leo going very aggressive, understanding that she can just zone out the enemy lane now that they've got the level 2 advantage. Yeah, the Rengar opting in for a possible invade, but doesn't catch the red and buff. Back. As you see here, Lee Sin sneaking up on bot lane. Rengar trying to make a play mid lane. Hopefully, Lee Sin can hop in there and take out someone. All oh, and Leo pops the ward, giving away the Lee Sin. Lee Sin now wasting his time. Rengar wasting his time mid lane as well. So they're just going to head back into their jungle, try to farm up some more. So for a top lane, just frozen under York's tower. In terms of farm though, York is pretty far behind. Yeah, he's again, losing this yeah. trade. We just see Ooh, ooh flash. An, an unnecessary flash. Or Wukong was already backing off of that. Yeah, definitely could abuse this now that Rengar's top lane, knowing that York doesn't have any flash now and Wukong still has a flash. They could definitely try to make a play as we see Rengar is heading top lane right now, knowing that. The York is down a summoner. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to make that play. But we have Lee Sin coming bot lane again, just trying to force things. The entire game as they yeah. maybe pick up first blood here on Leo. Yeah, she understands she didn't waste a single summoner, which is good for the bot lane. Unfortunately, the Alistar got the first blood, which means no first blood gold for the bar. So the Lee Sin, uh, it's gonna keep them sl a slight dis advantage but not that much in the bot lane hopefully they can uh put that pressure in shut the wave in and get a good back in time to finally get the advantage we still see some trades here going back mid this neither jungler has back just farming up seeing what they can do around the map but then top lane the cs is pretty even 
Hoplin's pretty far ahead, though. Yeah, once again. Or again. UNC. Yeah, our top lane Gabe is just putting in work at night. You, uh, Wukong, not understanding what he needs to do. His bot lane is just getting shoved in here. Or UNCC. Katie's gonna go for the recall right before she has ult. That way she can possibly get a kill once she gets back. Nice all in on the victor. Again, she definitely needs to get a advantage like she had last game and then really start to push it and try to help her team out where there's weak, especially in the top lane or get the bot lane further rolling. Yeah. I find it interesting that Rengar opted for the Warhammer instead of going for boots or more of his jungle item. Yeah, Looks probably easy rushing. Looking. Probably rushing that Yomu's. Trying to make some big plays around the map, getting that early yeah. advantage instead of upgrading his smite. Um, we'll see what he can do with the advantage. More the. They're gonna take out the ward. The mid lane, Annie's already gotten her Fiendish Codex, and Victor opted for the upgraded Hextech core. Here we see that. So they both definitely have some all in potential. Both have ult, both have both summoners. They might be trading back and forth here. We'll see who takes. First blood mid lane. Like Leeson's posturing for a gank. I don't think he's gonna be able to get play. anything unless. Oh, there goes the ult, and we have a kill mid lane, and he goes in. She didn't actually pop any summoners, so that might be yeah. might be a misplay over on the Victor for not preemptively flashing. Yeah, he wasn't. Annie, knowing that she's gonna be rave. super aggressive here. As we see, Tennessee just taking advantage, pushing in and getting that dragon. The only trade is the blue buff, but that's not much. Yeah, that won't be a big deal, especially for Lee Sin or Annie. And they're just going to take his blue buff. We still see a giant, the CS discrepancy top lane, 25 CS up. Might be a ringer against top lane also. He's coming in. Yeah, he's going, they're going all in. There's no flash, and there's an easy kill. And it seems Yorick recently TP'd, so it's going to be a while before he can get back up there. Might be a lot of tower damage. Yeah, the Wukong just putting work on this Yorick. Definitely a outskilled top lane here, even with the Yorick. Unfortunately, we're not seeing very much aggressive plays from any of the solo laners or the bot lane without the jungle pressure. Both junglers have 100% kill participation on both teams, so it seems match is just going to be dictated by which jungler can gank more. And I feel this is partly on uh, the laners for being a bit scared. You see the bot lane really not wanting to do anything on either side, just waiting for that jungle to come in. And hopefully this Wukong, knowing that he can Basically, solo the Yorick will now start to put in work as we see Lee Sin sitting bot lane, hopefully trying to put another play in, but doesn't seem like he's gonna spend his time there anymore. Wukong's saving his TP instead of going back to lane with it, so he's probably looking for some bot lane play to TP on. Just in case there's another gank in the uh, bot lane. Meanwhile, Wukong is continuing to expand his CS lead, and Rengar has developed a lead over Lee Sin. Mid lane's pretty even, but bot lane, uh, Ash is down on CS to the Varus. 
Do we know that uh, when you kill the ghouls from Yorick, it counts as CS? It's possible that it does. I think it gives approximately 18 gold, I think I just saw, so I would think so. As he picks up a solo kill now, top lane as predicted. He knows that he can now all in the in the York, which is going to be an easy cleanup as we have Lee Sin running into Rangar. Rangar just doing so much damage. Wow. Oh, the Annie flash. Yeah, Annie's going to get him. But Annie Thumbs bones down. both there's hopefully here. Victor might. Victor can make up a kill here, but he's got to play this. Jesus Christ, nice one more Q, there you go, there's a good trade. Nicely done on UNCC, picking up a 2-1 trade. Annie burned both of her summoners, whereas Victor only had to burn the, the ghost to get out. I feel if Victor reacted yeah. faster, he could have gotten Definitely the Annie. Over. Yeah, helped out. Because it looks like he kept farming despite the Ranger destroying Leeson. We definitely saw that difference of the Rengar buying the AD item first to clear waves faster and then getting his jungle item quicker, thus winning him the fight because Lee Sin only had one longsword while Rengar had his full uh, AD jungle item going and just absolutely demolished that Lee Sin. Yeah, Rengar still has his ult so they could look for a top lane play to go get the gank going and possibly get the tower also. Yeah, both top loners know that both their flashes are down, so we could see another play here, hopefully. Um, push him in, but again, their their top lane, York, is just suffering against both games, being down in CS and being pushed out of lane, solo killed. Amy's, Amy's actually not coming back up. Clearing out wars and getting more vision. Yeah, it looks like Ringer wants to get a gank for the tower. We still know Yorick's flash is down. Uh, they're gonna shove Definitely that in just six tower. Get the tower and then go ahead and kill him if Yorick stays or if he tries to do something. No. Yeah. It's like Lee Sin's trying to make something happen bottom though. It's coming in. No flash is gonna be another kill lane. But we have Lee Sin uh, going in bot lane. As dive tower, kick kill. Leon out. Alistar still just tanking tower. Very well played by Tennessee. Uh, tanking tower with the Alistar playing that pretty immaculately as Flash. Victor comes in and whiffs everything but still picks up the Alistar, gets the stun on him. They're gonna clean up this Varus. Again, Wukong is just absolutely rampage in this game. 50 CS up, 3 kills up. Wukong is just destroying this game. I don't know if you guys saw but it looked like our uh, Ash just flashed into the enemy ADC. And a reason during the tower dive. Interesting. I don't know if you guys saw, but our Rengar just smited tippers. <laughs> UNCC definitely came out ahead in that fight. They got the first turret gold in top lane and managed to save the bot lane turret while picking up some extra kills. And now they're flying yeah. pressure mid lane. Yeah, so Ash did flash forward. She was trying to avoid the Lee Sin Insect, but she ended up flashing right into the Alistar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Easy pulverize and just flash face first in 1v2. I don't think that was a very smart play. I think since Alistar was going to tank the tower anyways, that there was not much to do, and they probably could have saved a few summoners. Yeah, they uh, panic flashed and definitely was just not ready for that at all. Looks like Lee Sun might come in, but they're just gonna back off. Wukong just keeps expanding his CS lane top lane. He's up to over 40 CS up. Yeah, hopefully he can pick up another Flame Horizon this game. and be 100 CS up. 
Again, we see Annie here, two and one in lane. Has an advantage. Down in CS though, but building that Zonya's first item, putting her back, I guess she's scared of this Rangar, ganking her and turning the tides of the game as Lee Sin is gonna come and sit bottom lane again, as they're gonna force another fight, missing the Q. They got the Ash ultimate. This Wukong is just gonna make another play. Ooh. Rolling you over have everybody. Touch me, Gabe. Oh Annie goodness. didn't even have time to activate her Zonyas. This man is a true. Beast. She didn't have Zonyas up for that. And that's true. <laughs> but touch Rengar's me, Gabe. coming in with ult. Riding around this map, killing everybody, not giving a single care. It's really this a been team on his like a repeat of the first game. Even though the UNCC bot lane is. Oh, and three. But it might pick up Varus here. Nice, Leo got the kill. Now they're looking towards that bot turret. Get the last downer off the map. Wow, Victor's pushing in on the inner. Victor nearly has his perfect hex score. Yep, there he goes, getting it on his back. And Wukong finishes off his first item. Looks like Wukong and Rengar both pick up Black Cleavers. Meanwhile, the Yorick still has not finished a single item just yet. Just a indicator of how far behind he is in this game. Varus and Ash both off for, opt for Essence Reaver's first item. I can see that on Varus, but is that really a good buy on Ash as opposed to like Infinity Edge or a attack speed item? No, it's definitely in the meta right now to go the Essence Reaver and Warlords. Reckless was just talking about how the majority of ADCs have to build Essence Reaver and Warlords or else they're just not going to be useful. The utility is way more important than that damage. Ooh. Wow, the Wukong outplays. This Wukong might actually survive the... Yeah, he's gonna Ooh. get out. And Punch Ringer and Victor. Making more plays here. <laughs> the baits! Oh, I don't know why I decided to go back in there. Ringer is running in. Into the jungle. He's probably not gonna catch up, and if he does, the Zonius might just get popped instead. <laughs> <laughs> the BM got him, but again, no Zonias. She that may have been able to turn she... that on. I mean, since this was a flash jump. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much time. That's pretty. That would require a pretty much inhuman reaction time. Or if you're Faker, obviously. Yeah, Faker yeah, level yeah, reaction yeah. time. There we go. But I mean, is Faker even human? Victor, go Victor really here. But he's gonna get out of that thing. He bit off a bit more than he could chew, but Rengar comes to save the day. Now Rengar's... <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> the cat teased the blind man a little too much. I always tend to forget that you don't necessarily heal on Ringer, you just gain health back from how much you health previously just lost. So I feel like whenever you W's, you should get health, but I'm just not used to that new W. What have we got going on? Oh! Uh, it's just like Victor tried to bait it out, but at least then it'll be finished off by Ash. Ooh, that flash though. But Annie follows up with the flash tibbers. But. The tower gonna go down, possibly bot lane. I feel like Tennessee Tech's trying to grasp at straws here. They're making plays and chasing just to get whatever they can get, because they can't really get control of the map as a whole. Yeah. This Wukong's putting in a lot of work this game, just out rotating them left and right.
buff's gonna go over to Victor. And it looks like UNCC is gonna make a move on the dragon. A little dangerous with Tennessee Tech so nearby, but it looks like they'll come in and collapse. UNC is down player at the moment. Nice smite from Ringer, and they're just gonna have Tennessee back off. Taking a look back at items again, Victor's finished off his Rylize. Meanwhile, Annie's still working on her. Looks like, uh, whoa, we got a fight going on, bot. Ash ulted. Barely misses. Yeah. We don't even see a completed item on the Yorick here. Still sitting on his sheen. And we unfinished Sunfire. Definitely feeling behind as the Annie now building even more MR trying to stay alive this game. Wukong really picking it up this game. Just, in, just beautiful engage right there. Walking all over the back line. Hopefully he can sneak out here. And he picks up a kill. That's gonna be an ace and possibly the game. Take a look back at that fight. Technically that was a Wukong quadra kill. Ranger just barely stole the penta there. Yeah, Touch Me Gabe is really uh, showing off these two games. For sure. Both playing as you're working against your kids, just putting in work, just decimating every single game, knowing when to roam, when to take out towers, just exactly what he needs to do to win. the game. Yep. Wukong's picked up a Ravenous Hydra. They might like Rengar's got a... Looks like Rengar is not going to be able to engage soon. Looks like Ronald on Ash managed to finish off his Bruins Hurricane. That's going to be really helpful to get some attack speed going. Interesting engage from the Rengar. Hopefully they can get out of that. Ooh, Ronald with the Ash Arrow coming in for a disengage, and looks like they might try and follow that back up. And the small siege. Yorick minions do count as CS, so we might see some flame CS on the uh, Wukong here. Since It looks like they're just going to give up the inhibitor turrets. It looks like UNCC is just going to close out this game nice and safe. Wukong goes in with the spin. Any might get. Uh, Ash barely survives, but the rest of the fight's just the team roll. And he's not using his yeah, own. It's gonna be an ace for UNCC. That. Unfortunately, it's gonna be another. I don't think any Zonia is the ones that game. I do not think she did either. That was, unfortunately, a wasted purchase if she wasn't gonna use it. Good game to UNCC. They'll be able to take the series 2 and 0. Oh. Nice ash arrow down the middle at the end of the game. Trevor, calling us nerds cast in this game. I know, right? What a big hypocrite. So yeah, it looks like UNC takes that. Yep, after a crushing defeat by Miami last week, it looks like they have come back to 2-0 Tennessee Tech. Hopefully that trend will continue.
We also have to look at the players here on the UNCC team. They had four diamond players and one gold player, while on the uh, Tennessee team, they had only two diamond players and three plat players. We can see that the team comps were sort of not that necessary as the players were just outskilled their opponents here. Yeah, the team comps weren't necessarily like defined as you would probably see in pro play, but they were still pretty good at ending up the match, cleaning it up at the end. All right, do you guys have any final comments about that game before we sign out? Uh, yes, the Ash flashing into the Alistar face first was definitely just a big misplace we saw throughout that game. I know we talk and joke about the Annie not using her Zanyas at all, but the flash into the Alistar was definitely a misplay that caused them a double kill under tower that just could have been avoided since the Lee Sin missed his insect. Yeah, I mean, instead of doing the in the Lee Sin's work for him, you just got to flash into them, Alistar. So, you know, make it easier on the other team. It's a little bit of BM to give them a bit of an advantage. I think it was a very strategic move on Ronald's part. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just, it's hard to imagine just what a Diamond player has going on in his mind. He probably just had a small mishap, but overall, they still won the game. Indeed, they did. Congratulations to the UNCC A squad, and we hope to see you back next week. Goodbye, everyone. And we are no longer live. Nice meme, Ronald. Kill <laughs> <laughs> uh, him, dude. Wait, so is Kappa for life in Twitch chat Ronald? I don't know. Because he it seems like it is. Because uh, um, someone said uh, Ronald reading Twitch chat in the middle of the game. and then Cute African is Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Who's Ryan? Ryan, Ryan Moore. The, the, he was the um, guy casting it last week with uh, Marilla. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Cheese. Uh, he will never make it back oh, to the oh, A-team. No, no, Parkinson is uh, Ronald. Okay, that makes more sense. Kappa for life. Yeah, this is like That's almost more autistic than Aryan's name. True life 5 me. Where's Arian anyway? Well, he, I know he was playing last week, but I guess he didn't have to this week. But it's like, shouldn't who he be the spectating or watching? That was playing this week. Yeah, who is that guy? I don't know. Definitely was not playing like a gold player for sure. Like, was he just playing on a lower level account or something? Could be. All of the accounts have to be registered in ULOL, so. That's the must that's the account he's permanently playing on. Interesting. <laughs> now who's Ryan Athy? The fuck? I don't, even, I don't know what all the different colors mean. You can, in, in the Twitch chat? Yeah. You can pick your color in the Twitch chat. No. Oh. The people are just whatever color they choose to be. I think I'm yellow on my main Twitch account. <laughs> 